and uh, here at the ID Tech X show. Hi. 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 So who Good are you? morning. My name is Thomas Eman. I'm managing director of the ASIS Digital Health System. Yeah. So um, what are you showing here? So we show here uh, printed films with uh, the drugs, and these are 3D printed drugs. So tablets. 3D printed drugs. Yes. So you can swallow this, for example, sildenafil. That's the active ingredient of Viagra. And uh, the other ones? The other ones are different ones. So, uh, yeah, some, some of them are without ingredients. What's the advantage of 3D printing pills? Uh, the traditional manufacturing methods are designed for mass production. So uh, we want to produce personalized medicine. So exactly the dosage you need. Um, so we go from one size fits all to personalized medicine. So depending on your genetics, on your age, weight, metabolism. So uh, give you exactly the dosage you need and uh, not what you get off shelf. Is it also a good idea to mix different ingredients in a way that mass production cannot do in the normal pills? Yes, or? We, we bring uh, different drugs into one film or one one tablet. So um, especially very handy for old people, taking uh, five, six pills per meal um, many times a day. So we bring it into one drug or two drugs per meal. So you can put the five in one pill? Exactly. And exactly the right dosage for that person? Yeah. They just need one pill? Yes. And they can swallow it the same way as a normal pill? Yes, they can swallow the, the, the same way. And it uh, tastes the same. Yeah. <laughs> it could it could taste. So we can also bring a different taste in it: strawberry, raspberry, whatever you want. Um, yeah. The advantage is also that uh, the drugs could have different release times. So um, what does that so mean? So we, we we don't we don't mix the drugs. So the drugs are independent. So one drug works in two way, uh, in two hours and uh, the other one in, in four hours. Inside so one pill? Yes. So that's the standard way that pills work, right? Or that's, that, that, that's the benefit of the uh, uh, drug combination we can produce with 3D printing. How? Um, the I'm trying to understand, I'm not very smart, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, the pharmacokinetics, it's nothing we, we developed. That's already there, but we bring the different drugs into one pill which is not possible with the mass production. So They make millions of the same pill? Exactly, so the 3D or the 2D printing uh, is the way or the key for us to, to make personalized medicine. So you can do it for food supplements? We can do it as well for food supplements, yes. That's a big market, right? It's a big market, but also for, for pharmaceuticals. So um, keep in mind that, for example, a, a very known blood thinner, it only exists in a three milligram tablet. If you look around, all of all of the attendees here need a blood thinner. Uh, no, but are no? different. So <laughs> you and me, may, maybe of the same shape, are taking a, a girl of uh, 50 kilogram. Uh, you can imagine that we both do not need the same, the same pill. And this depends on on, on many other drugs as well. But this, this is reality. This is a big headache for doctors, right? They're thinking like, um, mm, you should get this, that, but actually they have to calculate based on how big people are and, yeah, and it would be better if it could be precise. But this vital data is already available in, in many indications. So is it weight or is it your liver function, your kidney function or whatever. So and also these algorithms uh, you may need are, yeah, many of them are developed already. But the drugs are not there. So what we do, we translate the knowledge out of the diagnostic we already have into therapy. And uh, here, do you show on your machine how it looks? Yeah, you can. You, you, there? Yeah, it's on the floor. This is a 3D printer for pills. 3D and 2D. So that's a, a pony pill. That's now the 2D printing. It's roll here. to roll? Here is the. What is it? It's 2D, 3D printing. That's the, the 2D printing machine. It's a big machine. It's a big machine, but uh, it's also until you you pack it, so it's everything in one machine, and that's a poly pill. So with uh, multiple drugs into one, that's also poly pill. And what is this? This is a oral dispersible film, so you can put it in the mouth, and then it, and then what happens? it is it dissolves, 
and the truck can be immediately absorbed. So this is very handy for kids and for old people. They don't like to swallow pills. Exactly. So, uh, Does it have all the same stuff? What, what do you mean have all the same stuff? Uh, it, some, when you swallow a pill, it goes further down the system, right? Yeah, but here so it's, it's immediately absorbed because it, it dissolves. Also, the, the substrate dissolves and the truck itself can immediately be absorbed. Did you say that the whole here, the yes. whole thing is swallowed? Yeah, no, it's, Nothing it's, is... it's, it's dissolved. So you don't swallow anything. It's just, it dissolves on your tongue. And then there's nothing left? No. You don't, it's not paper you have to throw out after? No. Nothing nothing's left over. So this is the future of medicine? This little piece of uh, it all, QR it, code? You know, this is uh, a very well-known uh, monograph. Uh, QR oral, code, right? do, oral dosage form. But uh, the traditional uh, method was that the drug was incorporated or embedded in the substrate. And then it's already designed for mass production. What we do, we print the truck on the substrate. It's similar like an inkjet, you know, from uh, yeah, printing paper. Yeah, so instead of ink, you print the drug? The, the truck is in the ink. And what we do is not also uh, only developing the printers. We do the formulations for the printable inks and for the 3D printing, it's a, it's a filament. So we embed the truck in the filament. The filament will be melted and then built into a tablet layer for layer. Um, you, you see it in the film. What is this? This is the 3D printer. Yeah, you have to wait. You will this see is the poly pill? That's the poly pill again. Now they, they show how, to, to, how it's printed. Um, these machines right here? That's the 2D again. That's just a 2D now, printer? Now it's printing a 3D pill. Is it 100% safe? Yes. Is it FDA approved or what's it called? No, it's not yet FDA approved, but uh, it's GMP compliant. So what good is that? G GMP is good manufacturing practices. So that's the yeah the regulatory um, we have to obey across the world. FDA is the USA, right? FDA, that's the authorities in in the US. But it's the same in Europe. Uh, it's completely similar. It's not the yeah. same, but uh, it's almost the same. So how soon you will be FDA and European FDA approved? Um, yeah, we, we hope end of the year. Because it's new, all this? It's pretty new. But it looks like big machines. Is it the same machines you would use to do all this other no. 3 printing stuff? Or is no, it custom well, made for this? No, no, no. Our customers will be hospitals and pharmacists. So we're aiming for desk, 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 uh, desktop uh, printers. To, desktop? Uh, yes. So they will buy the printer from you? Uh, or do you print the drugs for them? No, no. Uh, we want to enable them to print it. So uh, the hospitals and the, the pharmacists will print. Wow. Is this, is this also going to uh, revolutionize somewhat the R&D and research in medicine somehow? Uh, yeah, of course. We. How can we, it change that? Uh, clinical trials can be done much more quickly with the uh, digital printing. So it's also interesting for pharma companies. And uh, of course it could uh, change the supply chain because uh, nowadays drugs are bought and sold by, by wholesalers. So uh, if it's printed uh, by hospitals and pharmacists themselves, this could change the supply chain. Because a normal way to make a pill, you have to do a mold for it or something? It's a tablet press. It's press. It's press. In the standard it's pressing thing. Yeah. But uh, that's fast. Even not, they yeah. can, don't have machines. They can do quick uh, samples. Yeah, but this is mass production. What we are aiming at is, is precision medicine. So that's uh, yeah, individualized. It's mm -hmm. not for mass production. So where are you based? Um, between Stuttgart and Munich in Germany. It's Ulm. All right. What do you think about the ID Tech X show? It's very interesting. So we're. We're kind of an uh, exotic uh, uh, company, but um, yeah, we're looking around because we're also uh, looking for partners and uh, looking for, uh, yeah, let's say, the newest technical equipment. Who's your partner going to be? What, what kind of partner you need? Uh, we need partners in the IT field. Um, and uh, so 
the formulation, so the, the pharmaceutical development and also the, the printers, uh, we do on our own. But also we need uh, partners in the uh, for, for the printers. We are coming from the pharma side. So, um, yeah, of course, we're, we're looking for technical uh, experts also in the printing part. Pharma is big. Yeah. It's a big industry, right? Yeah. Don't they have a lot of interest right now, what you're doing? Um, yeah. There is a big interest, but uh, it's also a very conservative uh, uh, industry, so it, it takes time to change. Do you have competitors or no? Uh, there, are, there are companies in, uh, we, we know in the UK and uh, in Asia. But uh, you're the best. Yeah, so we're coming from pharma. We have more than 25 uh, years experience all of our team in, in pharma. In different pharma companies or what? Different pharma companies, development of pharmaceuticals, and uh, so, yeah, we, we hope we're, we're still ahead of the others.